Hey Reddies, I'm your host Madison Harcastle, back again for another segment. There are two new education bills that have been released in Arkansas. I'm Tom Copeland, I'm a, uh, an assistant uh, professor of history at uh, Henderson State University. I teach courses in uh, U.S. history. Uh, my courses include uh, both the U.S. history surveys and uh, I also teach a course in the Civil War, a course in women's history. Uh, this semester I have a course in social movements and I have a class coming up titled The African American Experience. I'm Dr. Megan Hickerson. I am a professor of history at Henderson State University where I also direct the liberal arts or the Master of Liberal Arts program. Um, and I'm a specialist in early modern European history, religion and gender. 1231 is a, is a bill that will reduce funding for a public school, uh, including it's K-12 or higher ed, whether it's a two year or four year, uh, state funding would be reduced if those schools, or if a school uh, teaches from the 1619 Projects curriculum. 1218 is a bill that will forbid the uh, teaching of a class or event or activity <clears throat> that pertains to race, gender, political affiliation, social class, or a particular class of people. Like the, uh, the 1231 bill, uh, it will affect um, funding for schools, that, whether they be K-12 or a two or four year uh, college or university. Uh, their, their state funding could be um, reduced by 10%. Of the courses I teach, my women's history course fills up. I mean, it's, it is a class I can guarantee uh, students will want to take it. But that class would be forbidden if the House Bill 1218 is signed into law. And likewise, I teach a class on the African American experience, which would be forbidden if House Bill 1218 is passed into law. I teach a class in the Civil War, it's the most, probably one of the most popular classes I teach. It fills every semester. But you cannot teach the Civil War without having an honest discussion, an honest dialogue about race. So in many ways, this bill has a, would have a profound impact on the courses that I teach. And I would say that judging by the popularity of these classes, it would have, it would deeply affect the students because they would not be able to take courses that they want to take. There's also, um, and I think I'm thinking about this in terms of like students on the one hand, faculty on the other, faculty administration on the other. Um, I, I think that there's, um, um, in, in terms of the effect of the institution, you know, one of the critical factors would have been how um, any individual university's administration chose to respond to such a change um, and whether or not universities um, would cooperate with one another, you know, to try to challenge um, um, this law, you know, whether it was something that could be, you know, taken to courts or, you know, or how that would work, you know, but ultimately if it were a law and if it were threatening funding, we wouldn't have had a lot of choices, at least in the short term. You know, most publicly funded universities in the state of Arkansas and ours is certainly one of those, you don't have a whole lot of wiggle room when it comes to money um, and funding. If implemented, these bills are setting up a new normal for the education system in Arkansas schools. Thank you again for tuning in. Ready Media Group, RMG for short, is the student media collective of Henderson State University. From newspaper to radio, we produce news and entertainment seen on campus, in Arkadelphia, and beyond. Learn more about RMG at hsuoracle.com. We're always looking for new students to join our team, so apply today using the student job application. Find it under the contact tab by using the website search bar or by going to hsuoracle.com slash jobs. While Henderson is known for its pride and already spirit, a pandemic can shake that up in the blink of an eye. And college is tough on its own, but now with online classes and flex schedules, it has changed the entire college dynamic. 
With cases still rising, we encourage each of you to social distance, wear your mask, and always be precautious. Let's be the generation that does our part that overcame a pandemic. That's our Daily Scoop. Remember to stay safe, social distance, and have a great day. Aren't you tired of being uninformed about the happenings of your college campus? Every other week during the semester, the Oracle publishes a new issue dedicated to all things Henderson. Collect your copy from a campus news rack or visit hsuoracle.com to read online.